right, we're checking out the only game where the cuter something is, the faster it will kill you. It's Hungry Lamu. Eight seconds in the game and the narrator's telling my nightmare-fueled Lamu over here that I'm hungry. I wonder what it eats. Could it be human flesh? This is my kind of horror game because clearly you start off as a derp monster. I love how it's not even like I'm wearing a face. It's almost like I'm just wearing a mask. Where did I leave all those humans? Follow the path to destiny. Any humans inside this bush? Any humans up in this tree? Let's find some cherries by cherries do you mean organs eat three cherries this has got to be a lie what happens if i eat blueberries eat cherries these are not red but okay i love how i just headbutt the cherries to death well air quotes the cherries there aren't any cherries beyond this point i don't care i do what i want Oh, apparently I don't. All right, one cherry left. Why do these cherries taste salty? Yum, weren't those cherries delicious? No, there's no protein. I'm still hungry. Cherries are not enough. What was that? What was that sound in the background just now? Was that a child? It's a cute little banana. Oh my God, they're, they're people, isn't it? Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana would my helping Lamu. Let's go meet it. Whenever you go to eat something and it runs screaming away from you, that should be a clue that maybe you're trying to murder someone. Talk to banana. Hello, little banana. Growl. Uh... I would normally say bananas don't growl, but I'm kind of really glad they do. <laughs> bark, bark! I'm gonna eat someone's pet poodle or something! Oh dear, looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help. We'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lemu could have a delicious meal. <laughs> oh, no. You need something hard! <laughs> God. I'm gonna grab this rock over here with my teeth. And now we're just going to bludgeon this banana to death. Ugh. What a hearty meal. The banana is spewing potassium all over the green grass. My God, despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. What was that? What is that? <gasps> It's a bunch of fruit friends. They're having a camp out. They're so happy. We don't see a lot of them around here. Their fruit should be enough to fill Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi. When you say hi, do you mean like beat them to death with a rock that I'm carrying in my mouth? Also, pfft, wait, can I, do I? Can I keep this or can I have this rock? Can I just keep it with me? I love that I'm just leaving the corpse of this banana here. All right, well, let's go say, you know, quote unquote, hi. <laughs> What's your name, little apple? He's like, Jimmy. Shut your mouth, whack. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, oh, hey, where y'all running to? <laughs> I'm a adorable Lamu. Where are you going? Looks like they want to play a game. <laughs> it's not even hide and seek. It's hide or die. Just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past. How fun. Come on, let's find the new friend so we can have some of their delicious fruits. How many people have I killed in the past? I love how it's like, oh, all those. <gasps> Is that an axe? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. If you ever see a Lamu uh, carrying a fire axe in its mouth, you should. Oh no. <laughs> Those little eyes I spy underneath the rock. <laughs> something needs stinging. Oh, stinging. Oh, I have to I have to find like some bees or something. Now I'm actually holding the axe the right way at least. Come here, little fruits. Where are the rest of you at? Oh, there's one inside of this here bush. Need something hot. Okay, now there's one more fruit friend around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, fruit friends, it's my- There's a car here? Smash the car? <laughs> no one gets to leave. <laughs> I'm like the Jason Voorhees of Lamus. I don't actually know what the difference between a llama and a Lamu is. I'm assuming a Lamu is just much more violent. All right, we got some bees over here. This will work quite nicely to help me say hello to one friend. You just stay inside of that bush. I'll be back for you. Hi. You may be asking yourself, Gray, how come the bees aren't attacking the llama? It's because the bees eat human flesh too and they're hungry. Get wrecked. Ah! 
The bees stung me everywhere, says the apple. <laughs> Looks like I've got to be careful next. Are you serious? Have my apple. You be serve it. Oh, that's it? He's just allowing me to eat his flesh? Okay. <gasps> I'm sure he's fine. Alrighty. Oh, something hot. There's fire over here. Can I just pick this up? Can I like walk into it? All right. There's got to be something slightly more flammable around here. Ah, a randomly burning torch of Everflame right from Dungeons and Dragons. There's a guy up in a tree. <laughs> okay. So he must be for the fire axe. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a guy up in a tree. It's a fruit. See? YouTube. <laughs> All we're doing is eating healthy fruit. Hey, how's it going? They say give a fruit a fire and he'll be warm for a day, but light a fruit on fire and he'll be warm for the rest of his life. That's hot, hot, hot. Oh geez, couldn't you try something less burning? Have you looked at what you're dealing with? I've got a bell on my neck and I can carry things like fire axes in my jaws. Well, I hope you like burned pear because it's yours. Oh, I sure do. Whoa, <laughs> Um, maybe it's just me, but did the, uh, did the fruit sauce that came out of that pear, was that red? Cause I'm pretty sure that the fruit sauce that comes out of a pear is it red? Where did I leave that battle axe hat? It's just fruit bodies laying all over the place. Oh, I'm just came back to remember my first, my first friend that I had, my banana friend. <laughs> is there something, do you see this? There's something like right here behind this tree, like an extra, an extra food source or something. Hold on a second. Cause there's someone in this tree but there was something, it looked like there's hands over there. How much can one Lamu eat? Hey, do you remember where I put that ax? The pear is like, yeah, it's right next to my hopes and dreams. I think it was over by the car. Yep, there it is. Alrighty, the time of murder is upon us. I'm sorry, not murder dinner. Yeah, all right, I'll be, I'll be back for you in just a second. I saw something else over here. I need to check this out. Here it is. Yeah, the pair of fa the pair of hands right over here. I can't seem to do anything about it. All right, I guess I'll handle this over here first. <laughs> When you're hiding in a tree and a llama is chopping the tree down. <laughs> That's when you know you're screwed. Hey, buddy. Found you. Whoa, that was a high fall. Surprise is not like- I broke my little orange legs. Don't, did you know oranges give you tons of energy? Have mine. Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree too. Hey, hey, orange guy, real quick question. What do llamas and murderers have in common? The answer is everything. <laughs> Notice how the orange has red juice in it as well. <laughs> Weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day. Playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. What friends did I play with? All I did was kill everyone I met. There's no one left alive. <laughs> this isn't the ending, you understand. There's clearly more here. All right. Oh, what's that, Lamu? You're still hungry. Oh, the text is red. It's rage fire time, baby. What is this? What is this? What was that? Was that a scream I just heard in the background? It sounded like Tasha. Wait, was Tasha the pear, the apple, or the orange? Or was it the dog banana? I told them not to make so much ruckus, Let's see what they're up to. Oh, it's like a three-dimensional game now. Awesome. Find the campsite. Oh, God. So, F for flashlight. This is literally the worst flashlight in the history of the entire universe. The campsite isn't this way. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could, like, leave the area or something. All right, let's go ahead and run. Hey, Lamu, you're not still around here, like, eating innocent people, are you? Oh, there's the campsite. Here we go. Found the campsite. Where's Mochi? You mean like Mochi the banana? Yep, that was Mochi the banana. She couldn't have run off too far. Oh, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't run very far at all. Follow this pathway over here. Hey Mochi, where'd your banana peel self go? Uh, I think I see a, a banana in the, in the distance. Oh my God, I can't show this, but I found Mochi. <laughs> Find your three friends. Hey Carl, what'd you do to my dog? Oh, what was that? What was that sound? 
Who's that? I just heard the sound of like a, a shovel or something. I love it. There's something just like shuffling out here, but honestly, it's not that bad because it just reminds me of Florida. Ah, oh, here's the chopped down tree. Oh no. Uh, is there an orange nearby? So there's an orange nearby, but I can't show you this either. She must have twisted her leg. No, she didn't twist her leg. I love how the game is like, oh, she must have twisted her leg, even though she has no head. Uh, oh, I can hear the car in the distance or something. Oh, I see the lava in the distance. It's right there. Hold on. I got to find the rest of my friends first. <laughs> then I'll go say hello to the Lamu. And by hello, I mean I'm going to get murdered immediately. Oh, the Lamu is, uh, the Lamu's kind of following me. This is an anti-Lamu zone. Man, the Lamu's over there too. The Lamu is literally everywhere. I wonder if the Lamu is still carrying the egg. I don't know if you saw that in front of the screen, but I'm pretty sure the Lamu just like instantaneously teleported in front of me. This game is amazing. So, um, I see a large fire in front of me. Wonder what it could be. Could it be people? I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to a crisp. It's better I don't show you this either. I love how it's like find your one friends. All right, I'm looking for a uh, fantastic hiding spot over here. It's a nice big bunch of rocks. What was that? That was the llama. The llama just appeared in front of my vision. It's like having floaters in my eyes. Oh, I just found the rocks. I think you know what I'm about to tell you. I can't show you this either. <laughs> Who did this to you, Ken? I need to get to the car. Hey, llama, you still following me? I love how I've come to defend myself with literally like the smallest flashlight in the history of the universe. All right, there's the llama. I want to at least see the smoldering car. Man, this guy's following me all over the place. Look at him, he's right there. Okay, so here's like the light and the bench. And here's my, <laughs> here's my hat and my Nissan hatchback that the llama ripped the engine out of with its teeth. The car's busted. Who did this? I think we both know who did it. Hi! Uh, so. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting to get eaten. It took forever though. Full course meal. <laughs> Well, I went into this hungry and now I'm not. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Hungry Lamu. Until the next time, stay boxy, much love.